uh, David Seymour. I'm calling David Seymour. Uh, Mr Chair, I'd like to direct my comments towards uh, some uh, arguments that have been made from the other side of the House uh, that this particular clause, Clause 10, uh, is retrospective. Uh, Mr Chair, we all know uh, in this House that retrospective law is bad law. We all know the government should seek to make laws uh, that people can actually anticipate and plan their activities around rather than be second-guessed by. And if indeed the matter before us in Clause 10 was retrospective, uh, then we'd have to very seriously consider opposing it on those grounds. The great difficulty is that while the effects of Clause 10 is retrospective, it is clarifying a particular situation that is the Public Works Act and the Housing Act as they stand, which are also retrospective. So if we were to ask the question, is Clause 10 introducing retrospectivity into the statutes bill, the honest answer would have to be no, because there is already retrospectivity in Section 15 of the Housing Act and Section 40 to 42 of the Public Works Act. That is the confusion in the law that, part, uh, that Section 10 seeks to resolve. And it might help members to actually read what it says. It says, to avoid doubt. The issue is that there is already a doubtful situation where it may not be clear who is able to claim against housing that has been developed, turned into housing and bought by people who are now new homeowners attempting to pay their mortgage, often precisely the sorts of people the Labour Party was set up to stand for but is sadly forgotten. And Mr Chair, I'll take your advice on a wide-ranging debate because isn't it sad to look across at the Labour Party? I had two people come up to me in the recess who said they'd recently spent time with Andrew Little and they were effusive about his boringness, Mr Chair. The fact of the matter is we now have a Labour Party that is completely rudderless. A Labour Party who says they want to build 100,000 houses through their so-called Kiwi Build, but a Labour Party that believes in supporting legislation that is going to mean that any Kiwi-built homes, to modify the phrase, that are built on land that was Crown land, that was at any point in the past ever owned in any kind of private ownership, will be subject to opportunistic legal challenge. If the Labour Party had any coherence in their desire to make housing affordable to more people through a program of government construction of housing, they would be very concerned to support this initiative because it actually clears the way for precisely the type of public policy that the Labour Party normally stands for. But, Mr Boring, unfortunately, the Labour Party does not have a coherent programme. They are opposing this today because they think they can stand on principle, but it's not a principle that they have ever stood for before. Mr Chair, the Labour Party will be back in government one day, perhaps if they're very lucky, and they will have to reverse everything they have said today in order to achieve their underlying principles. The ACT Party, by contrast, Mr Chair, has played a constructive role in this debate. We have introduced an amendment that will ensure that the inherent conflicts between the Housing Act 1955 and the Public Works Act 1981 must be resolved by this House very soon, because it is not right that people who own private property should have their property rights impaired for a public purpose that is not proper. And the government becoming a property developer is not a proper public purpose. Mr Chair, I proudly stand for ACT as a party of principle that plays a constructive role in public policy debates, which is far more than could ever be said 
for the Labour Party who have twisted themselves in contortions like a tightly wound pretzel in this debate. One minute standing up for property rights, one minute saying that there is a crisis in housing, and the next minute saying they want to build 100,000 houses on Crown land when they're voting for legislation that will make that all the more insecure and all the more difficult. Mr Chair, it's been hilarious to listen to the Labour Party. Thank you. Mr.